Hello to all our readers. Today we are with Mohammed Ali, who is going to recount how he helped uh, save a woman from um, a house fire in Nalia Road. Good day. Uh, I just came past by mistake. I'm supposed to take another route, and uh, I saw my friend Mitch uh, flagging me down. Mitch is the secretary of the neighborhood watch. Uh, and I'm the chairman. And, uh, smoke was bellowing from the house. So we got in there by the time Mitch and uh, the neighbor broke down the door. By the time I passed, I rushed in and the smoke was too thick. I had to rush out again and uh, I had to cough myself and breathe again. Go back in. Second time I hear the lady moaning all the time. They say she's in a lounge and I kept searching and looking for her but couldn't find her. And then uh, came out again, uh, the smoke was too thick, my lungs were burning out, I could feel a burning sensation and uh, coughed myself out, went back inside and uh, couldn't, couldn't find her, uh, felt around, she's moaning but I couldn't see, the smoke was too thick. And then the third time I felt the heat when I turned the other direction and by that time my lungs were full again, I had to get out again. And went in with a scarf this time around my face and uh, thankfully the neighbors uh, acted quickly, armored taxis uh, extinguished the fire through the window, they broke the windows, the back window and the back door and the smoke was able to escape of it and therefore I could see her faintly and then managed to carry her out and uh, thankfully we were able to save her. And uh, by God's blessing, I really appreciate. Uh, I think it was a little bit longer. I'm not sure if we would have made it because the denseness of the smoke was so great we couldn't even see in front of us. And she was there a long time. And we thank the neighbors, we thank everybody, and uh, the boy Rehman who helped me to carry her out as well. And uh, nobody else could go in there with the fire and the smoke. And, uh, we're so grateful. We had to take oxygen thereafter in the ambulance. Our pressure shot up. I don't know if it was the effect of the smoke. I don't suffer with pressure. But uh, I don't know how I managed. Uh, I've got three products just as well. But I don't know how I managed to carry her. That's all God's grace. Really God's grace. How I managed to carry her. And uh, it was really uh, not thinking about I didn't even think about myself, uh, couldn't leave her there, especially that she was moaning and uh, we knew she's alive and uh, by God's grace, she, she still pulled through.